Hey, this is Tom Wopat. I used to be Luke Duke on the Dukes of Hazard, but I am Tom Wopat officially now. And uh, I'm going to send you a recipe and directions on how to make chili. Now, chili is a really pretty simple food, but it's basic and it's you can you can make a big batch of it and it lasts for a week. It's great. So for me, what I do with chili is that there's like two major steps. <laughs> two major steps is that the first one is to take the meat and you brown the meat in like a like a a Dutch oven or something. So you have like a pound of beef. What I do is I also add some chorizo, but you don't need to do that. You can also add like a little steak in there, chopped up real fine. And that's really good. Skirt steak works great. But then what you're doing is you start the meat sizzling and you, you want hamburger that has a decent fat content, like 10 or 15%. That makes it better. Then while that meat is starting to brown, you take a medium onion and you chop it up, not real fine. You don't mince an onion, you chop it up in like half inch pieces. And that goes in there. And then take a, a bell pepper and you slice that up and chop that up too. Kind of same size pieces, maybe a little smaller. But you throw all that stuff in there. Okay, now so you have meat, onions, and bell pepper. Now you let that cook down. You let that start to cook and, uh, and the vegetables start to get translucent. They start to cook up pretty good. And what I do is I usually add, I add uh, like a beer, a 12 ounce beer. Um, amber is good. Or, you know, if you don't need alcohol, if you don't want alcohol in there. I mean, the alcohol burns off anyway. But you can use O'Doul's. You'll still get flavor out of it. Either beer or like uh, a cup of red wine. And put that in there just so you have some more some more liquid. Now you let that cook, you let that simmer, oh gosh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes until the everything is cooked pretty good. And I'll in the the recipe I send you, there'll be pictures of how it should look. Now, when you get to that point, three more things to add. That's a can of peeled cooked tomatoes. And they come in, I, I, maybe it's a 22-ounce can. I'm not sure. I'll show you. There will be a picture of that, too. Can of tomatoes, can of um, kidney beans, red kidney beans, and a small can of tomato sauce, not paste. You put paste in there, that's going to turn into spaghetti sauce. So it's going to be tomatoes, kidney beans, tomato sauce. You add those three things in there, then maybe a little... Worcestershire, a little hot sauce, something like that to taste. Um, also, oh, 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 back when we when we start browning the meat, you salt it, not too much, probably maybe a teaspoon of salt altogether, and but you use probably a, a quarter of a cup of of chili chili powder, and so it's salt, chili powder, that's on the meat with the onions and the green bell peppers. Then when that cooks down. Uh, you add uh, the uh, tomatoes, kidney beans, and tomato sauce, and you got you got stuff. It's pretty good. It doesn't it it sits there. You want to cook it for a while. You want to cook it for I don't know forty five minutes maybe. So you're talking about an hour fifteen minutes altogether maybe. And um, what I do is be about ten minutes before it's done, I take a couple tablespoons tablespoons of butter and put it in there, and it just kind of smooths everything out. I think you'll like it. I like to eat it with uh, saltines. And then sometimes I'll put in some chopped raw onion or uh, shredded cheese. Oh, my gosh, it's good. If you're a chili fan, it works good. So I'm going to give you a little tune to get out of here with. I bet you're going fishing all of the time. Your baby going fishing, too. I bet your life... Your sweet wife, she's going to catch more fish than you. The man of fish bites if you got good bait. Here's a little tip I'd like to relate with my pole and my line. You know I'm a gold fishing. Yes, I'm going fishing and my baby going fishing too. Now the reason I'm doing this song is because it's got a verse about cooking. 
Put them in the pot, baby, put them in the pan. Mama, cook them till they're nice and brown. Get yourself a batch of buttermilk cold cakes, mama, and put that sucker on the table. Eat it all down, singing man, and fish and bites if you've got good bait. Here's a little tip I'd like to relate. Many fish bites if you've got good bait. You know I'm a going fishing. Yes, I'm going fishing, and my baby going fishing too. I'm a going fishing. Yes, I'm going fishing. If you got chili, you can come fishing too. Peace out. Be careful. Stay at home. Bye bye. Staring at your screens all day Do you really feel connected? Seems like a strange sort of master